Hello everybody from YouTube. Um, this is my actual third video in uh, in the uh, series uh, that I've got loaded up on my YouTube channel. Um, once again, this is a uh, a uh, Trophy 126 Future Beach kayak. Um, I've had it for a year and uh, learned a couple of things and thought I would share with you guys uh, a couple of uh, modifications I made uh, based on some experience out in the water. Um, one of the first things I did was when you have this anchor line um, with the anchor trolley system um, works great uh, but what I noticed was um, the line itself has a tendency to get completely uh, tangled up in the bottom of your kayak right down where your feet are and where the seats at so you know if you got 20 or 30 foot or 40 foot of rope um, it gets to be a real pain in the butt trying to keep it from getting untangled um, and uh, getting caught up in your feet and everything so so what I did was I just recently installed these um, two um, two cleats here these are just you know stainless steel regular size cleats that would you use for you know use for boats if you want to <clears throat> you know tie stuff down on your boat and so now now all I need to do is basically just take um, you can take this this rope and now you can just wrap it around um, wrap it around these cleats and it will keep uh, keep that rope stored uh, nice and neat and uh, completely out of the way um, and it's going to be really easy to deploy uh, once, you, once you get out in the water so so that's one change I made to keep it nice and neat and clean uh, which is going to help immensely um, the other the other thing I wanted to share with you guys was these um, paddle Paddle holders. Um, I bought the really cheap ones originally that were kind of thin and small and uh, they broke. <laughs> so what I did was um, I upgraded those uh, to a larger a larger set of uh, paddle clips. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty big. And I'll tell you, these are a little bit more flexible and uh, they work great, right? So if, if they flex, they're not going to snap and, and break in half. So I would encourage you guys to, to upgrade those. Um, the other thing that I did, if you notice, I, I put these markings on the side, so you can, um, you know, when you catch a fish, you can, you can, you can measure it, right, without having to have extra gear in your in your in your boat. But but what I noticed with a regular, permanent sharpie um, pen, is they fade pretty quick. So what I did is I went out and got a um, sharpie. Actually, makes a um, high intensity heat uh, marker, and you can see it's up to. Can we stand up to 500 degrees? Um, so what I did is I got that marker, and I um, used that marker on here, and it's been good for over 12 months. So, anyways, other than that, everything's working great. I'm looking forward to uh, taking it out in the Outer Banks uh, in about a month or so, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, thanks everybody.